guys, so I am getting ready. Sorry if I'm talking kind of silent as he is taking a nap in the back. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul. These are the things I grabbed from Whole Foods and from this market out by me called Mother's Market. I've been going there or Instacarting there every once in a while because they've been having things that Sprouts has been out of. So we're gonna do a quick little grocery haul to go along with the farmer's market that we will be going to tomorrow. So this is a combination and then I might end up getting some more things tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But this is just what we needed for this week to get ready for our Sunday reset. We're going to the farmer's market tomorrow. So what I picked up today isn't anything that's like fruits, vegetables, anything like that. All of it is mainly pantry items or refrigerated items. Just things that most likely you won't find at a farmer's market. So from Mother's Market, I just grabbed this Bonterra Merlot. I like this brand. I've used it before. Um, it's because they're organic and it's a, it's a pretty good quality um, wine. So I got that. I grabbed some Uncle Matt's orange juice, some more raw milk because we go through this pretty quickly. I just got a gallon maybe a couple days ago and it's already almost gone. <laughs> Mainly because I use it in my coffee. I can't have regular milk at all. It is not for me. And then we're supposed to be doing pizzas either Saturday or Sunday. So I grabbed some of the Organic Valley Raw Jack style uh, cheese. I really like this one. Um, Organic Valley is one of my favorite brands. They use all their milk and everything's from pasture raised cows. And then you guys know I like going with raw, raw dairy. I also got the raw cheddar. Um, from Raw Farm, which is the same brand of the milk and butter that I get. Speaking of butter, I was supposed to get more raw butter. Moving on to Whole Foods with the first bag here. Rolled oats. I got a bigger bag this time because since I've been doing like the oat muffins, the oatmeal balls, and then just oatmeal, we've been going through oats like crazy. So I got a bigger bag this time. And this is the brand if you guys watched my um 10 ways to increase your nutrition i was talking about sprouted oats this is the brand i use it's called one degree love their sprouted oats I, once i found this brand i haven't bought any other oats since so good stuff they're being so wasteful with these bags let me tell you i just got a thing of organic chicken thigh skin on bone in I'm gonna make this for dinner tonight. I don't know what I'm making with it yet, but once you get the meat, everything else kind of the sides kind of come together. So. Oh gosh. Me. Don't wake up already. The last bag is pretty much full of Ezzy snacks. We got are you guys tired of talking about these chips yet? Because I get them every grocery. Organic black beans. I like to get um, the uncooked beans because I like to do it myself. I'm getting back into sprouting and I want to sprout these. So that is on the agenda for this week. Maybe I'll do that in the Sunday reset. Yeah, you guys will see that this video. I'm going to sprout the beans, rice. I think that's all I need to sprout right now. And then I got Ezzy, her favorite solely fruit uh, snacks. These are like little fruit gummies. If you guys know, I always buy these guys. It's the same brand. I love solely and um, their ingredients are literally so simple. It's just fruit. No added sugar, no artificial coloring, nothing like that. So I got her some fruit jerkies and some fruit gummies. They're great snacks, especially on Wednesdays when she goes to work with her dad. They come in handy to just throw in her little lunch bag. I also got some pinto beans, again, to sprout and to make. I'm probably gonna have chili, chili on the dinner meal plan this week, so those will definitely get used this week. I'm probably gonna end up getting more meat. We still have chuck roast in the freezer. I still have chicken in the freezer from the whole chicken I made this week and we have salmon still but back to uh sunday <laughs> we are in the parking lot 
getting ready to go into the farmer's market this is my first time at this one it looks kind of small but it looks like they had a lot of vendors but anyway we're gonna get some grocery shopping done in preparation for our Sunday reset tomorrow so today is Saturday and I'm gonna be doing groceries not on Saturday or not on Sunday just because again the farmers market is on Saturday and I want to get back to getting my produce from the farmers market and shopping more seasonally so as he's back there ready to go we had a run around this morning so I have not eaten or had coffee but we are gonna get some produce so welcome coffee. to the vlog <laughs> back in from the farmer's market so I have everything sitting out here we also went and got a coffee I haven't bought myself a coffee at a shop in quite some time so that's gonna be nice but I'm gonna do a quick haul but I'm gonna take everything out first we grabbed some celery green onions these cute some of these aren't the cutest little things these little cute red bell peppers I just got four of them Grab some eggs, and we'll see how the yolk is looking once we get those cracked. If they, if I don't feel like they're the best, they said they're pasture-raised and everything because I like to talk to the farmers, but we'll, we'll see. I got some oranges and lemons, potatoes, strawberries, which Ezzy has been chomping on since we got, oh yeah, Ezzy was able, she was so excited. To make this little strawberry they had like a little kids craft corner it was really cute so she was able to make that and got a little sticker so that is all the produce that i grabbed they it, it was a really small farmer's market honestly but i also from this company called luxury luxury candles it's a really clean candle i was talking to her and i just had to grab one so and look how cute this little but this is the eucalyptus and fresh mint it's a hundred percent soy and I'll show you the inside because it's pretty they have like little what are these it's like little leaves and then it has a wood a wood wick so really cute and I just grabbed that and that's all we got they didn't have much
I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Trust into us and we will help you. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janice and today we're filming a Sunday reset. I've been trying to film these more regularly now that I'm actually doing them. They're very helpful for my week to just have things prepped and ready to go. And it's just a lifesaver. Hello. Your face is so dirty. What do you have all over? We uh, have a few things to do today. It's actually going to be a more milder Sunday reset just because I did complete a lot of things yesterday, which you guys saw. We went to the farmer's market. I did a grocery order That's the day before that. So we did pick up most of our groceries. I already have all that put away. And uh, I baked a lot of sourdough last week, which that is something you guys also saw. I made four loaves of sourdough. So we have sourdough stocked in the freezer. I have pasta stocked in the freezer. I have bagels that I also already made that are in the fridge. So we have a lot of quick things we can put in for breakfast. I wrote out a list of what I wanna do. I don't have precisely exactly what I'm gonna do for everything. Most of it's on here, but not all of it. I wanna make some granola. I bought Ezzy some yogurt and we got strawberries from the farmer's market. So I wanna get some yogurt to go with that. I wanna make bone broth because I just wanna have that on hand in case there's any soups. Actually, cause I know one of the meals this week I wanna make is chili. So it'd be nice to have, add some bone broth to that. We need to create a meal plan <laughs> and then I have some laundry to do. I did a lot of laundry yesterday. I washed both me and Nathan and Ezzy's bedding yesterday. So I just want to take care of like the clothes that we have that's kind of built up towards the end of this week when I've been kind of more mellow. And then I need to place a Costco order because I still need to get more paper towels. You guys saw I only bought like one little roll in my last haul because I knew I would be placing an order for Costco this week. So I want to do a Costco order to get a few things. And then this week, which is a little bit new for me, is I wanna create a homeschool plan. I usually create a homeschool plan kind of the same day, just kind of go in Ezzy's room, look through her workbooks and whatnot and figure out what I wanna take care of for that day. But I think it might be a little easier to just kind of get an idea of what I wanna do for the whole week, even though I don't know, that's still up in the air because it is fairly simple for me to figure out what I want to do for her for the day. But I do want to start incorporating more like arts and craft activities and bring in more science and, you know, just other subjects instead of just mainly focusing on like her alphabets and her numbers and adding and all that kind of stuff. I kind of want to bring in more creative aspects. So that's kind of why I want to start creating a plan. I did do a lot of cleaning yesterday as well. I cleaned both the bathrooms yesterday, so I don't have as much cleaning to do, but at the end of the day, I always like to do a nice wipe down of everything, vacuum, mop. That's kind of standard for every day, not just a Sunday reset. So we are gonna tackle some of that. And Ezzy's room needs a clean, which she needs to tackle because every time I go into her playroom, it's a disaster right now. And it's been like that since yesterday. <laughs> so welcome to another Sunday reset.
probably should start soaking some beans too, actually. I am getting ready to start the process of sprouting my brown rice that I have right here. And I talked about it in a video when, I kind of referenced this video a few times, but I talked a bit about this process in a recent video when I was talking about how to increase your nutrients. And so I have a mason jar right here with a lid. I figured I'd walk you guys through it instead of just showing you so you just get a better idea of how to do it. It's really, really simple. I need is the mason jar, your grain that you're gonna soak. I might end up soaking some beans as well because I think I mentioned earlier that I wanna do chili. So it'd be nice if those are already sprouting. But I also have cheesecloth. If they have like um, straining like mason jar lids as well, but Cheesecloth is really inexpensive. You can get it. I think I got this one from, yeah, Sprouts. Inexpensive and um, you can use that as well. So whichever is easily accessible to you. I'm just gonna cut it to about the size of my mason jar. So just enough like this to just go around the mouth of the lid. It's too cold, it's honey. Too cold it was like raining this morning. Why am I spreading rice? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna take about maybe a cup and a half of brown rice, and then first I'm just gonna rinse it. So I have my strainer right here, so I can give it a good rinse before we put it in the mason jar. Now that I've rinsed it, I'm just going to scoop it in. This might be messy. Find a better way. Now we're just gonna fill up the mason jar. I have some filtered water right here. So I'm just gonna put enough to cover the rice. So this is what we got. Now we're just gonna put the lid on, cover it with the cloth. At this point, you don't necessarily need it right now, but I like to just have it on there. And then you're gonna let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. The next time you come across it, you're gonna drain it and rinse it, and then you're gonna sit it upside down to let like the rest of the moisture kind of drain out. And then you do it again the next day. So it's basically like a rinse, a rinse, and drain situation for a few days until you start seeing the rice sprout. So there you go. So here's a closer look into what I have planned out for dinner this week. So on Monday I have lemon rosemary chicken and potatoes. Tuesday I think I'm gonna do like a chuck pasta i've done it before and it was really really good um and i still have some chuck roast in the freezer so that could be good and i have pasta in the freezer wednesday i'm thinking of doing an indian butter chicken and rice and then i want to make a homemade naan that just sounds so good and i feel like i've been craving it for a few weeks now thursday i want to do chili and then friday i want to do salmon and rice and that is why i'm sprouting my rice now for both of these situation so hopefully over the next few days i can get that nice and sprouted and then saturday i want to do chicken enchiladas and then sunday either we'll eat out or with this chili we have up here maybe we'll have some leftovers to have for sunday so that is what i have planned for this week for meals
ho ho, we beat the pirate, yo. Pirate, yo, ho. Yo, we ho, the ho. Hello, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's only, well, it's 5.20. It's been just a really long day. I'm so tired. But I know I'm going into like my ovulating stage and I, I always have really, really low energy after my period. I actually have more energy while I'm on my period than I do afterwards. So I feel like it could be that, but it just seems like really low. I don't know. It could also just be trying to get back after being sick, I'm not sure, but it's been rough. I did a grocery order for Sprouts earlier. I was kind of upset because I did one for Costco, but they were out of paper towels. They're they were out of my whole order, so they canceled my order because there was nothing they could get me. I don't know what's going on. So I ended up placing a Sprouts order and just grabbed some extra veggies. I grabbed broccolini, more zucchini, asparagus, I grabbed some more apples, pizza sauce, that was the main reason because we're making a veggie pizza, veggie sourdough pizzas tonight and I realized I didn't have any pizza sauce. So we got some pizza sauce and that's what Nathan and Ezzy are doing right now. They're just like prepping their pizzas and getting it ready for the oven and I just wanted to sit down. The only things I didn't really complete, laundry is going, but it isn't finished. I don't know why it seems like it was taking longer today, but I have a load in the dryer and a load in the wash. I didn't get around to the last load that I, actually I have two more loads that I need to do. So I'm going to turn those over into tomorrow. But other than that, I did complete everything else. So there's only like two things that I didn't get to, which I guess is okay for how tired I feel today. I'm going to end up this vlog now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Sunday reset and I gave, I tried to give more tips as opposed to like taking you through my Sunday reset. So I hope some of the things I shared today are just some things that maybe you can start implementing. I already talked about like sprouting, making your own bone broth, and then I'm going to leave the recipe for my homemade granola down in the description box if you're interested in making that. It's really good and you can use it for obviously like parfaits but it's also good as just like a cereal, like just adding some some milk to it and Ezzy has loved that as well. So it's a really good snack. And um, yeah, so I'll leave that, that recipe down below if you guys are interested. And um, that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you for tuning in, subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram, and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>